Praise the Lord everyone. Most welcome to this evening. And we are going to guide this retreat, a Eucharistic retreat from Divine Retreat Center, Samasvi, Sydney. I'm Father Ronnie George, and we have a wonderful couple here with us. I'm Peter. I'm Jen Chris. We three will be guiding uh, the first day retreat. And let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Abba Father, in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, as we begin our retreat now, we ask the Spirit of God to come and dwell among each one of us. Spirit of God, guide us at this time. Spirit of God, help us to guide your children. Spirit of God, bless everyone who is participating right now. Spirit of God, be with us and teach us more about the Eucharist. Teach us more about the love for Eucharist. Holy Spirit, our helper, our guide, we need you at this time in a very special way to help us to know more about the Eucharist and its importance in our personal life. So dear loving children of God, invoking the Spirit of God into our midst, let's sing this hymn together as one family and receive the guidance and the powerful help from above through the Spirit of God. Spirit rain down, rain down, O oh, Comforter and Friend, how we need your touch again. participating this retreat right now. I offer each one of them and their families and their holy intention at this time. Lord, you bless them. Offer whatever that they are undergoing at this time. Offer all the struggles that they are going through right now. All their holy intentions, 
the stress and the worries and anxieties that disturb their life and whatever that is troubling them at this time lord in your name in the name of jesus i surrender and i lift all their petitions and prayers to you right now spirit of god come actively at this time and teach us and guide us and let us all receive the blessings of god this evening this evening when we proclaim the word of god when we proclaim the message of gospel let there be anointing every corner we also remember people who could not participate with us at this time who will be watching this retreat later lord bless every single one singing once again together holy spirit rain down holy spirit rain down we can all sing together and sisters as we begin every retreat with holy rosary whether we do it online or we do it physically here at divine we have got that great devotion just like you towards a mother mother of the church and mother of god so if you have got rosary in your hand you can take it and we recite the rosary together uh first 15 minutes we do the three decades of the rosary then i give a uh, half an hour talk on the holy eucharist then again we come back and do the rest of the two decades of the rosary then we enter into the healing adoration that what we are going to do this evening together so let's get started and we do the rosary now In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. and is seated at the right hand of God the Father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life of the last in amen our father in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and so shall be. World without any. Amen. Today we shall meditate upon the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. At the foot of this decade, let us pray for all of those who are affected by this pandemic, for the sick, for the dying, for the suffering, that the Lord may have mercy upon them. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. for all of the souls in purgatory. Let us also offer up the souls, the departed souls in our own families, and for the souls who have no one to pray for them. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, born without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. for a job and for families that are going through financial crisis. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from women. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and now shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Thank you. 
Dear loving children of God, let us begin this reflection by listening God's eternal and promising word. Gospel of John chapter 6 Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day, for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father. So whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate. And they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Kafarna. Because of this many, because of this teaching, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, hope you are not too bad. The intention of this Eucharistic retreat is not giving much theology into this evening, not preaching about the transubstantiation, not going into so much detail about the teachings of the Eucharist, no. The intention and the purpose of this evening retreat, today and tomorrow, as the preparation for Corpus Christi, the intention and the purpose of this retreat to rediscover and re-enkindle the real meaning of the Eucharist amazement. You know this word very often we hear from Pope John Paul II, Saint John Paul today. So he used to share to the flock, the faithful, it's our duty to rediscover and rekindle the Eucharistic amazement. What's all about this? We know very well, Holy Eucharist is the center of our Christian life. Can we imagine a world without the Eucharist? Can you imagine a church where there is no Eucharist? Can you imagine a place where there is no worship or adoration going on to, uh, towards the Holy Sacrament? We can't imagine and we can't think about such a world. So that is why Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches exactly the Holy Eucharist is the submit and the source and the center part of our Christian life. Today, we all follow Christ. You are a follower of Christ. And I do follow Christ. And today we follow him because we receive help and support and we receive our strength and the food from this table. I remember 
maybe six or seven years before. Uh, seven years before. When I was in one of our re divine retreat center in India, in Mumbai, one of the child of God from other religion, he came to me and he said after a one day prayer, Father, I'm not a Catholic, but I heard about the Eucharistic and its miracle. Some of the, his friends were Catholic and they shared about him the importance and the power of the Eucharist. And he came into the retreat center for one day retreat. After the retreat, after the day, one day retreat, when he's about to go back, that is the time I happened to meet, meet him. So he told me, Father, the long table that you kept in your sanctuary, the long table, he didn't know uh, this is an altar for him, it's a long table, whatever. He told me, Father, that long table helped me a lot today. I asked him, what do you mean by that? I came with a lot of burdens in my heart due to his personal life and the life in his family. I offered everything because your Catholic people told me that whatever you want to offer, you offer everything on that altar, you will receive a kind of joy and peace. The day, in the beginning of the day, I surrendered everything on, the, on the, that long table and now I'm going back with much joy. And this testimony I heard from a non-Catholic. Brothers and sisters, a big tragedy, maybe for me, for you, for all those who follow Christ today. Most of us go to church on every Sunday, I believe. Some of you go daily, every day, and receiving the Holy Sacrament and the Eucharist on our hand, or we receive Holy Eucharist. How many of us, how many of us seriously look into it this is the Christ. That is why I said this retreat today and tomorrow the only one purpose not learning much theology about it not having much intellectual knowledge about the Eucharist and all its theories just simply to know and increase our faith in the Eucharistic Lord. As the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches very clearly, Jesus fully, wholly, completely and entirely present during the time of the Holy Eucharistic celebration. And this is the highest form of the presence of Jesus in this world. Last year, when I went to Adelaide, one of the cities in Australia, I was preaching and after that day retreat, one young man, he came to me and he asked, Father, do you know anything about heaven? Do you believe in heaven? I said, yes, I do believe. Then he told me, if you believe, give me a proof. Give me a proof. Just explain to me, say something, show something that we have today from heaven. That really shook my life. I need to prove him. I know exactly I can prove it. But to just to make him understand. I was thinking. And I was spending some time with him. Uh, doing our conversation. Even though we sp spoke a lot about it. But my only one intention. What I should speak to him back about. That one proof. That I need to speak to him about the presence of heaven. Immediately, something hit on my mind and I told him, what we have today from heaven, that is the Holy Eucharist. And later I understood that's the correct answer I said to him, my dear loving children of God, what is available today on earth from heaven is only one thing, that is the Holy Eucharist. Because the Holy Eucharist is Jesus himself. It is not the Jesus who died on the cross. It is not the Jesus who rose after the third day. It is the Jesus Christ, the glorified one sitting at the right side of the Father and interceding for me and for you today. Jesus himself 
present fully and wholly and totally in the Holy Sacrament. That is why I said, sometimes it's a big tragedy being a follower of Christ we don't realize when we go for everyday mass. People from other religion, people from other religion, being in a retreat center for last 12 years, I heard hundreds of testimonies from people connected with the Eucharist, from different retreat centers and from different parts of this world. Their testimony. Some people, they go twice or thrice for Holy Eucharist. Some, some ladies and some men I know very personally sitting hours and hours and hours in front of the Blessed Sacrament. I remember one day, the previous retreat center where I was, retreat was going on and the intercessory uh, chapel was, uh, it was full with the people, they are interceding for the retreatants. There was one lady and she was from one of the cities in India that's called Shillong in Meghalaya. And this lady came at 9 o'clock morning and she started to sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament, interceding and interceding for all the retreatants who are attending that particular retreat. And I was preaching and my companion priest, we were really busy preaching to that retreat. And around 12 o'clock when I came to uh, my room, I realized she alone still sits in that particular intercessory chapel. So I went there. Then I saw only she herself alone sitting in, uh, in front of the Lord, Blessed Sacrament, and interceding. I told her, Dear, you go and have your lunch. I will substitute you for half an hour here. You can go and take your lunch and come back. You know what she told me? Father, I don't feel hungry. I feel so good to spend my time with the Lord. I forced her because I told her, you go and have something and come back and sit. But she said, I'm good. I'm okay. I don't feel hunger. And I noticed from 9 to 4, she was interceding for all the retreatants who are attending that particular retreat. I don't say that we all need to do that because that's a calling for her. I say personally, that's a calling to be at the feet of the Blessed Sacrament. So, brothers and sisters, what I'm trying to share with you today, the importance of the Holy Eucharist in our personal life because it is everything. And I will explain to you why it is so important. Because Jesus... Or during the Last Supper, taking the bread and Jesus said, this is my body. Taking the wine, Jesus said, this is my blood. And you eat it and you drink it. Just because of his wonderful words, that creative word today, when priest, when the priest act in the place of Jesus Christ, we call in a Latin phrase, in I just forgot that particular word. When priests acted today in the presence and as a representative of Christ, it is exactly what happens. The bread that became the body of Christ and the wine that becomes the blood of Christ. We need to understand one thing very clearly here. Jesus, Jesus taking the bread, he said, this is my body. The same Jesus looked at the woman and said, your sins are forgiven. The same Jesus said to the paralytic, get up and walk. The same Jesus said, Lazarus, you come out. And he came out. And he came out from, the, uh, from his uh, tomb to the life. The same Jesus used the same word and said, this is my body. That means when a priest act in, in the present, when a priest, he speaks and he acts as a representative of Christ at that time, the bread becomes the body 
and the wine becomes the blood of Christ. So that is why I believe. Why I believe this is Jesus himself. This is Jesus himself. And Jesus is active and so alive. That is why I said in the beginning, sometimes we feel it's a tragedy today. Being a Catholic, being a follower, I don't recognize when I go to church. Even having Jesus on my hand or after receiving Jesus, I don't mind to spend time. I don't enter into that close relationship with God. My thinking maybe I need to finish the Mass soon and I need to go back. I remember this testimony that happened when I was doing my first year theology almost around 15 year, 16 years before. When I was doing my first year theology, we used to go for helping the parishes on every Sunday. And my rector that time, he allowed us to go. The previous day, Saturday evening, we could go and we need to come back Sunday evening after the Mass to the seminary back. So I remember those times, the first year in my theology, I was going through a particular parish and the parish was so good to me that time and he allowed to uh, he allowed me for preaching especially even on Sundays and that time we used to go to uh, with our elderly priest for preaching the popular mission retreats so I happened to meet a particular family and I was so surprised and shocked to buy her wonderful faith in the Eucharist and I preached about her I think so many countries where I visited I preached about her and this is her testimony. When she was uh, year 8, when she was doing her studies, year 8, she was praying for only one thing that she heard from a children's retreat, you need to pray for a good life partner. So she was praying for, Lord, give me a partner who never touch alcohol. You know why? There was something, some history behind this. Her father was addicted to alcohol and she could see almost every day this domestic violence that happened. So her childhood was really very tough. So she was praying to God at the age of maybe we can say around 12. So when she was doing her year 8, she was praying to God, give me a partner who never touches alcohol. At that age, Till 25 year old girl, she prayed that only one prayer and her marriage got over. The next day she realized her husband is addicted to alcohol. I really got shocked by listening this testimony from her. So many long years she prayed and her prayer was just only for one thing, to get a partner who never touches alcohol and what she got a partner addicted to alcohol and then she was explaining to me father when I came to know the second day of my marriage the partner that God blessed me with addicted to alcohol I never complained I never questioned I never murmured instead being my house is so close to the church I go to church for daily mass. When the priest and the accolades go back after the mass, from the last door, I come close to the altar and I kneel down in front of the altar and I stretch out my both hands on the altar and I totally surrender my husband because I know tomorrow when the priest come and celebrate the mass, I will offer my husband. When the priest celebrate the Eucharist, I already offered my husband on this altar. She told me her testimony. After three months, her husband completely and totally freed from alcohol. It's not only for her, his family members could not believe this because he was so addicted to alcohol very young age onwards. And she was sharing to me this testimony and the husband was listening with us when she was sharing and then he said to me, Father, whatever my wife said, 
It's absolutely a big fact and truth. Today, I don't feel to drink at all. Completely freed from alcohol. Addiction of alcohol. I'm not saying that alcohol, it's completely freed from addiction of alcohol. So brothers and sisters, I believe so personally, Holy Eucharist, it has got a mighty power in our life. It is the center of our life. It is the center of our life. Personally, I have got a testimony to share. When I was completing almost my two years in priesthood, my higher authority called me all of a sudden on my birthday and he asked me, I'm go we are going to appoint you in another retreat center as a director. Then I asked my uh, provincial, we call our superior as a provincial. So I immediately told him, how can I go within two years as a director of a retreat center? Then the provincial and the team said, no, you can't do that. You need, you need to go there. Because of some particular circumstance at that time to that particular center, they sent me there. And I, till I remember the two days, 48 hours I traveled. Because from that place to the retreat center, we need to travel 48 hours in train. 48 hours, two full days. And before I moved to that center, I had a chat with a companion priest. Then he shared to me everything about that retreat center. It was on the top of a mountain. He was sleeping under the uh, bamboo shed. No much food, not much food, not for eating, but for the people when they come in. No electricity. If the electricity comes, sometimes it goes. If it goes, then they give a candle for everyone to have the uh, uh, light. And it's really a tough mission. It's really in an interior place. And it's really financially very down. And it's just a starting up of a prayer center or a retreat center. So when my companion shared to me all these things, I remember that two days in my train journey, I was trying to, I was trying to write the phone numbers of the people whom uh, who I had got a good relationship in my priesthood, even though two years, because of my nature and because of the so many good nature of the people, I've got so many good friends. And I was trying to write all their phone numbers just because of one thing. When I reach there, I should call to all these people and I will ask them, this is the sender, you do something for this sender to lift up. That was my intention to just support that sender. And I reached the sender, and I even remember the first day, I'm not going to share everything, but what I want to share this. I was trying to call every single one in my contact. See, I'm appointed into a new retreat center. Here we don't have everything. Even for everything we need to buy, still we are all sleeping in a bamboo shed. And when people come, we, have, we don't have enough, uh, enough place. I remember we took baths from uh, fetching the water from the field. So we were share, I was sharing everything to the people and asking them for some financial help. Very sincerely and very frankly speaking, I did not get even a single dollar in our, and, and today single dollar for after each of those phone calls. I was totally dependent on people getting their help to build up the church and retreat center, but I did not get any single help from anyone. That is the time I really looked at my priesthood. I really shared with my companions, so wonderful priest with me that time, and we both were sitting in front of the Blessed Sacrament. We started to intercede. When my companion priest and me started to sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament, when we spent hours and hours with the team members and started to intercede for that particular sender, I remember the day I spent my time in front of the Blessed Sacrament with my companion priest, that day, I received more than three or four phone calls from different people who are in contact with, with me. And they were really so generous 
and sharing their money with us at that divine retreat center and really taking six years of time God built up a mighty center where 400 people can come and act in residential retreat. Last year when I went, I went there and I could see 1,700 people were attending that one day retreat. I just believed how God helped. Why I said this? Being a priest, I just totally depend on some people. Especially depend on some influential people, depend on the people who have got enough and more money, thinking that being a priest with that relationship, we get something to build up the church. But God wants and he taught me a complete lesson. You are a servant of Christ. You should not depend on anyone. You depend on me. I will provide. And he provided he provided at its maximum. So brothers and sisters, I shared this just to make you understand Holy Eucharist, it has got a mighty power in our personal life. I was hearing hundreds of testimonies when people were uh, sharing with me, Father, when I'm so tired, I went into that particular church, spent half an hour even though Blessed Sacrament is not exposed, I was just sitting in front of the tabernacle, looking at the tabernacle. I know the living God, Christ is present there. I feel so good. So, dear loving children of God, it's important to rediscover. It's important to rediscover today that Eucharistic amazement that Christ is active and alive today. Christ is active and alive today during the time of the Eucharist. It is not only during the time of the Eucharist as St. John Paul says, your Sunday Mass should extend to the marketplace. You know what he meant? When he said your Sunday Mass should extend to the marketplace means when you celebrate Mass here in the church, when you go out, you should leave. According to that disposition, you should live according to that particular nature of Christ. I heard a funny story, I think, a couple of years before. Happy to share with you that, which is really funny. Two brothers, brothers, elder one, elder one used to celebrate Mass always at home, therefore funny games. He used to celebrate Mass and he, whenever the both uh, elder and younger, whenever they celebrate Mass, the elder one says, I will be the parish priest and you are the sacristy to the younger one. So always the elder brother is the parish priest. One day, the younger one went to mom and said, Mom, you tell my brother, whenever we have this funny game or whenever we celebrate Mass at home, Always my brother wants to be the chief celebrant or the parish priest. And he asked me to, be, to do the sacristy work. Give me one chance to be a parish priest. Mother found something very good in it. And mom called both brothers. And mom told to the elder one. See dear, tomorrow when you play this game. For they say it's a game because... They do it at home and I appreciate because of that strong faith. And when you do it tomorrow, mother said to the elder one, you no need to become the main celebrant or you no need to be the priest in charge. You be the sacristy and let your younger brother celebrate the mass. Then the elder one looked at the mom and said, mom, let him be the parish priest. Let him be the priest. Then the younger one so happy. Oh, my brother gives me a chance. And the elder one said, Mom, let him be a priest and I will be a bishop. You understand? Let him be a priest, then I will be a bishop. Why I said this? St. John Paul shared this. 
your Sunday mass should extend to the marketplace. That means when you celebrate mass, once mass got over, when you go out to the streets and out your suburbs and your own families, you have to just live accordingly what you heard from here or what you experienced. In my country, especially in my state, one child of God, not a Catholic, but one child of God, he used to speak uh, to that particular time uh, in our magazines. He used to share, you Catholics, you Catholics, you go to church, you receive Jesus every day, but why don't you become another Christ? He's a very well-known poet in my state. He said, you Catholic, you go to church, you receive Jesus every day, Jesus who sacrificed to himself, Jesus who emptied himself, but even though you receive every day Jesus, why can't you be a Christ? But instead, what do you do when you come out of the church? If we reflect personally, there is a lot. So, my dear loving brothers and sisters in Christ, it's good, it's good to reflect how much I take Eucharist seriously in my personal life. I might just go to a Sunday Mass just for being, a, uh, completing the duty or a, just or today Sunday I should go just for a nominal sake, just for a name sake, just to please someone, just to show someone. Or I just go daily for a daily Mass and after going daily for Holy Eucharist, how much I developed the relationship with the Eucharistic Lord if I'm not. This evening, this talk and the Eucharistic adoration should help us to rediscover, rekindle, rekindle that amazement of the Holy Eucharist, that Jesus is alive. That's what I want to tell you. Jesus is active and alive in the Eucharist. How much seriously I'm taking into my life. When we hear the testimonies from all other religion, their testimonies of experiences of Jesus, their testimonies that they had during the time of Holy Eucharist, being a follower of Christ, being a Catholic, I feel someday shame on me because I did not develop that close, that close and intimate relationship with the Eucharistic Lord. Yes, I know, I know about the Eucharistic. I know the theory of transubstantiation. There is no, there is no change in its appearance of the bread and the wine. I know the substance is the body of Christ. Theories and intellectual knowledge helps us. I'm not saying that we should not. That helps us. But intellectual knowledge towards the Eucharist is not going to help you to believe in. But we need a total and complete trust and faith in the Eucharist that it is Jesus himself. Jesus took the bread and said, this is my body. During the time of Mass, when the priest took, lift the bread and the wine and said, this is the body of Christ and this is the blood of Christ. That is the time. It is the body and the blood of Christ. It just, it's not only really my belief. That is the truth and the realities of life. So, dear loving children of God, today, the first day of our evening retreat, it's my humble suggestion to everyone who are listening to me right now, rediscover, rekindle, rekindle that real zeal and real desire for Christ. Stand for Christ. When Christ himself sacrificed on the altar, sometimes, sometimes I feel, not only me, you feel maybe pity on the people. They come and they ask only their intentions. They come and they only pray for their own selves. Even they are not even minding how Jesus sacrificed himself on the altar. 
I come to church, I celebrate Eucharist is not only asking for my personal intention. I celebrate the Eucharist to give glory and honor to God. That is why Holy Eucharist is the highest form of prayer. You know why? Ascending from our side and descending from Father and both of us, me, the children of God and the whole heaven and we all meet on this altar with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. There is always a movement from outside ascending and a movement from heaven that is descending and we meet on this table. If we take that word from that particular child of God from other religion, this long table. This is the center. This should be the center of my life. And this should be the center of your life. Being a follower of Christ. Without Eucharist. Without Eucharist, there is no life. We know very well, we need food, right? We need food. We need food to survive. We need food for the energy, for having whatever we need to do. We need to have that energy. We need to have that food. Again, I'm asking you, it's not only a question, but I ask to myself, if I take food, that's well and good. I need to really nourish my body. And what about my soul? I'm a child of God. I don't deceive myself. Being, having given this beautiful life in this world, I should not deceive myself. Why? Because I have not only the body, I have the soul of Christ. I have got the divine nature within me. I am a divine being. I believe in it. I absolutely believe in it. Not to live the flesh. I have the spirit of God within me. So brothers and sisters. When I nourish my body with the food. Whatever that food that I like. Then I am good. Eat it. But what about your soul? We need to give the food. If I only nourish my body, my flesh, if I only taking care of my body that is on my flesh, and if I'm not taking care of my soul, I deceive my own self. It is not my enemy. It is not anybody at home. It is not anyone in this world. I myself deceive me and I do injustice to myself because I only nourished my body and flesh. I did not give time to my soul. Dear loving children of God, we need to have this both. We need to eat whatever we like. Chicken or fish or whatever vegetables you like. We need to eat everything what we like. Eat everything what you like. At the same time, give food. Give food to your soul to survive. Give food to your soul. Otherwise, sometimes you see, even in such and such world, when I'm not feeding my soul, if I only live with the food that is nourishing to my body, I just live a couple of years and I do so many things. End of the day, I never enjoy the real beauty of life. I could not explore that beauty of life. Life means... Life is in Christ, nothing else. Life, life is, life, its fullness is in Christ. That's what we receive. Eucharist, Christ himself. Eucharist, Christ, nothing else. So, dear loving children of God, rediscover, rekindle that seal for Eucharist. Try. I just want to share with you, just try. Sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament. 
if it is not possible for you, where there is no blessed sacrament exposed, whenever you travel, just, just enter into a church and sit in front of the tabernacle. Saint Vincent de Paul, our heavenly patron, used to share to his fellow priests, brothers, we need to go for mass as much as we wish. Sometime he said in his testimony, I <clears throat> sometime I celebrated two masses. One being a main celebrant, and sometime the other when my companion celebrate mass, I can't celebrate with him. Saint Thomas of Aquinas, the doctor of the church, he used to share. Sometime I sleep in front of the tabernacle because I learned whatever I have written connected with the knowledge of the Eucharist. It is nothing. My intellect is not going to help me to stand firm in the time of trials and tribulations in my personal life. He himself said this, being the doctor of the church, a man with the full of knowledge, a man with a lot of intellect, a man with a good number of discernment. He said himself that after writing so much of this, sometime I sleep in front of the tabernacle to get some holy inspiration from God. A saint, St. Mary Magdalene from Australia. I heard just recently when she was there here in close by parish, I forgot that parish name. Same father, uh, what's the parish, uh, our for Port Finnegan? What's Kincumber. Yeah, that's a close by parish. When she was there in the Kincumber parish, she used to sleep sometimes close to the tabernacle, maybe in her convent. But I heard these days. So, brothers and sisters, it is the time. It is the time to rediscover. It is the time to rekindle that zeal and desire for the love of the Holy Eucharist. It is the time to rediscover that Eucharist is the center of my life. It is the source of all the blessings to my life. And it is everything of my life. It is the time. It is the time to rediscover. It is the time to rekindle that amazement of the Holy Eucharist. So I conclude. Dear loving children of God. Today, as you heard about the Testimonies connected with the Holy Eucharist. We need to understand what Jesus said. This is my body and this is my blood. And he said, this is the true food. This is the true food and this is the true drink. There is no food is equal to Eucharist. There is no drink is equal to the blood of Christ. That is why Jesus said, this is the true food and this is the true dream. And now, let's complete that two decades of the rosary. After completing that decades, let's come back here and we have the healing adoration together as one family. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. In this decade, let us pray for our families, for Christ to always be the center of our families. Let us also pray in a special way for all broken families. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now Lord and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. crucifixion of our Lord and Saviour. At the foot of this decade, let us offer it up as a decade of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for all the blessings we have in our lives. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us and lead, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of our Jesus of Christ. To memorare, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to thee do I come, before thee do I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word and cry, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Pray to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us from the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast, cast into hell, hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We will now sing a hymn, I am the bread of life. sisters in Christ, we are entering into the Eucharistic adoration and coming 40 minutes. Let's adore the Lord. And the Eucharistic Lord is coming to our side right now. Let's adore Him with all our heart, with all our mind. 
with all our soul wherever you are at this time wherever you are let's adore him and let's increase our faith completely and totally when we receive jesus actively here with us and let us welcome jesus and sing together Sit here at this time. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit present at this time with us here in this most holy sacrament. Jesus said, "The bread that that has come down from heaven is my body." Let us adore and worship the Lord. Let us surrender everything at the feet of Jesus right now. Lord, I surrender my life. I surrender my families. I surrender what is going on with me and in my families. Whatever that disturbs or that helps us 
or for every bit of our life at the feet of Jesus. As Jesus said, come to me all who are carrying your heavy burdens, I will give you rest. Come to me all who are carrying your heavy burdens, I will give you rest. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Let us surrender everything at the feet of Jesus. Jesus, I'm here. I'm your child. I surrender my life today. I surrender everything what's going on with me. Maybe my worries and anxieties. Maybe the fear that is creeping in my life. Maybe the inner wounds of my past. Maybe the guilty feeling that I am carrying for so long. Maybe the sins of my life. Maybe the financial burden at this time. Or maybe because of this broken relationship. Whatever. Lord, you are alive. You are active. You reign the whole world and the whole universe. We believe in you at this time. We trust in you, Lord, at this time. Trusting in the Lord. Let us sing this hymn and surrender totally and completely at the feet of Jesus. You can join with the choir singing together. Hunger and 
surrendering to you at this time. I surrender. Surrendering everything. Aspects of my life. I surrender. Remembering all the sick people in my house, all those who are in the hospital from my family, Lord, I surrender them. All the people who are struggling right now, all that I'm undergoing. and joy. Here I am with all what I have and what, what belongs to me. I surrender. Dear loving children of God, this is also the time to say sorry for all the disrespect that we have shown to the Eucharistic Lord. The disrespect at the church or in front of the Blessed Sacrament or even immediately after receiving the Holy Communion, I did not get and I did not spend enough time with the Lord. Even though God wants me to have a good relationship with me, but I forget everything and I was totally involved in my own affairs. All the disrespect that I have shown in my past years towards the Eucharistic Lord, towards the Blessed Sacrament and during the Holy Eucharistic time. Lord, you are you are Christ. You are the center of our life. You are the source of all blessings. And you are the submit of our Christian vocation. Lord, I am sorry. I say sorry for all the disrespect that time I did not give enough glory to your most holy sacrament. Maybe I was a bit rushed with my own affairs in the church or during adorations or benedictions. I remember that it is the Eucharistic Lord is the reality for me today. Eucharistic Lord is everything for me today. It is the Eucharistic Lord, the real true food for me today. I rediscovered. I was aware in the beginning, but the course of time I have forgotten everything. It is my duty now once again, I discover. There was a time I had so much light within me because of the Eucharistic Lord. But past years, maybe one or other ways of my busy schedule, totally no light within me. So I rekindled today again that Eucharistic amazement in my life. Such a wonderful active Christ in the Eucharist. 
what I have, what is available today from heaven, what is available for me today from heaven, that is the Eucharistic Lord. The heaven comes on earth. When King comes, King comes always with the whole heavenly choir. That is why during the time of the Holy Eucharist, we say holy, holy, because we are trying to join with that one liturgy of the heaven. Even though thousands of holy masses are celebrating at every day in this planet on earth. But there is only one liturgy. There is only one Eucharist that has no time, that has no space, that is going on. There is no end, no beginning going on in heaven. And we were all trying to join from different parts and corners of the world to worship and honor our God. Thank you, Lord. And today I remember once again the moments I disrespected. You are present in the most holy sacrament. The moment I did not give much importance at the Eucharistic time, Join with the choir singing sorry to you and your holy name and your presence which is real at this time.
Dear loving brothers and sisters in Christ, let us love the Eucharistic Lord in deep silence, in complete silence, looking at the body of Christ, the Eucharistic Lord, Whatever you want to share, whatever the intentions, whatever the desire which is close to your heart, offer to God. Here we have a living God who is actively present here, especially develop develop a great desire for love of God. Have a great zeal, have a great zeal to witness the Eucharistic Lord in silence, spending one or two minutes focusing on the body of Christ. You are free to spend your time with the Lord. Those who are sick and suffering, offer to God at this time. Those who lost their jobs, offer to God. Especially hundred thousands of people who lost their jobs, we remember them. All those who are in ventilator and ICU right now, if any one of your family members, remember them. All the broken marriages, broken relationships, we surrender. People who are with great worries and anxieties, people who, people who are with a lot of fear, people who are really troubled due to guilt feelings or past traumatic experiences, people who hate their own life, those who feel pity on themselves, all those who are undergoing depressions, those who are sad this evening, and those who are disappointed at this time, the answer is only one thing, that is the Eucharistic Lord. The answer to all the problem, that is only Eucharistic Lord. He is the source of all blessings. I trust in Him. He is my refuge. And He is my hiding place. We need to understand one thing what we heard in the Bible passage today. When Jesus was teaching to the people I am going to give my flesh as the food for you. Not like your ancestors, they ate and they died. 
but those who eat my flesh they will live immediately when we read the gospel we heard so many people left jesus because they cannot digest the teachings of jesus so many people left that moment because they were wondering and they were shocked how could jesus give his son blood and the flesh as the food for his children so many left jesus loving people we need to understand one more thing when people are going away jesus did not change his teachings jesus did not please those people who left from him jesus was so strong so firm so profound and intense in his teaching and he said i give my flesh as the true food for you i give my blood as the true drink for you those who left they are left immediately jesus asked peter peter do you wish to go do you wish to go away immediately he stood up and looked at jesus and said where shall we go you have the words of eternal life where shall we go you have the words of eternal life and you are the holy one of god this evening together using this technology of facebook and the youtube we proclaim and we witness that you are the living god you are the living god where shall we go there is no place we just trust in you you are my hiding place dear loving children of god surrendering once again at the feet of jesus let us sing this healing song that you are my refuge lord all that i am undergoing now maybe i am sick i'm sick on my body or i'm sick in my mind or i'm sick in my heart due to the pain the broken relationships i'm sick in different aspects of my life i'm troubled today i have no energy and strength to stand stern today i offer where shall i go there is no lasting place for me there is no permanent place for me there is no answer for me other than eucharistic lord let us focus at him sing once again together as one family you are my hiding place you are everything Oh
find my hiding place. You always fill my heart. You always fill my heart. Praying for deliverance at this time. You heard my prayers. That time you did not. You did not answer to me some of the prayers, but you heard it. I knew very well today. It was for my welfare and prosperity that I did not get that particular answer at that time. I realized today you were so close to me. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing help, your compassion, your love for me. You have forgiven all my sins, not only hundreds times above. You accept me as your own. Such a wonderful and amazing and awesome Eucharistic Lord I have in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In silence, say a small prayer for your family members. Remember your parents, your siblings, wherever they are. Say a small prayer for them. We lift up those countries where the COVID-19 virus tested positives are going high. Lord, protect your children. Give wisdom to the leaders of the country. We lift up the patients at this time, the ventilator and ICU who are struggling. Lord, I wish you give them complete healing. But your will be done. We pray for the people desperately searching for a job at this time. Waiting for, waiting for their result after interviews. Lord bless them. We believe all the people who departed from us due to this pandemic, they are resting with you. And you had a plan and you have a plan and you will know what is going to happen again. Surrendering everything at the feet of Jesus. Let us prepare ourselves for benediction, singing down in Adore.
的声音in the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus Christ. Holy Sacrament of the Altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the Name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the Name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint. Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. Amen.
second day of the Eucharistic uh, uh, retreat. Most welcome. If you are free, you can share with your families and friends any parts of the world so that they can attend the tomorrow's session. Good night. Thank you. God bless everyone.